This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at covalent bonding. So we'll start with a definition. A covalent bond is the electrostatic attraction between positive nuclei and shared pairs of electrons. In this diagram, we have two atoms of hydrogen. Each hydrogen atom has one valence electron. By sharing these electrons, each atom can achieve the electron configuration of a noble gas. The covalent bond is the electrostatic attraction between the positive nuclei of the hydrogen atoms and the shared pair of electrons. Next we look at single, double and triple covalent bonds. Here we have the structural formula for three molecules. On the left we have ethane, which has a carbon to carbon single bond. In the middle we have ethene, which has a carbon to carbon double bond. And on the right we have ethine, which has a carbon to carbon triple bond. In a single covalent bond, there are two shared electrons. In a double bond, there are four shared electrons. And a triple bond, there are six shared electrons. Next, we look at the carbon to carbon bond strength. As we go from a single to a double to a triple bond, we can see that the bond strength is increasing. Next, we look at carbon to carbon bond length. As we go from a single to a double to a triple bond, we can see that the bond length is decreasing. So from this we can see that single covalent bonds are the weakest and the longest. And triple covalent bonds are the strongest and the shortest. So the carbon to carbon bond in ethane is the weakest and the longest. And the carbon to carbon bond in ethane is the shortest and the strongest. And finally we look at non-polar and polar covalent bonds. In a previous video we saw that non-polar covalent bonds have a difference in electronegativity between 0 and 0 0.4 units. The difference in electronegativity between these two chlorine atoms is 0, therefore this is a non-polar covalent bond. In hydrogen chloride, the difference in electronegativity between the hydrogen atom and the chlorine atom is 1 unit. Therefore this is a polar covalent bond. Bond polarity can be shown with a vector, as in this example on the left, or dipoles as in this example on the right. So let's end with a summary. Covalent bonding occurs between non-metal elements. It is the electrostatic attraction between positive nuclei and shared pairs of electrons. Single covalent bonds are weaker and longer than double or triple covalent bonds which are stronger and shorter. Covalent bonds can be polar or non-polar depending on the difference in electronegativity between the atoms.